The world pretends to be normal, oceans stay blue, skies stay polite, and the ground mostly behaves itself. But underneath that fragile order, Earth hides things that don't quite make sense. Moments when physics, chemistry, and time decide to go rogue. These are not myths or Photoshop tricks. They are real places and real events that look like the planet briefly lost its mind. From waterfalls that bleed to storms that never stop, these are the most bizarre natural phenomena you won't believe actually exist. In the middle of Antarctica, a land so empty and silent, it feels like the edge of existence a glacier is bleeding. At first glance, it looks like someone cut open the ice and let it hemorrhage. From the side of Taylor Glacier flows a bright red stream called Blood Falls. The color isn't from algae or pollution, but from ancient salt water trapped beneath the ice for nearly two million years. Inside that buried lake, there's no sunlight, no oxygen, and no life, or so scientists thought. But when researchers drilled into it, they found bacteria still alive, feeding off iron and sulfur. When this briny water finally escapes through cracks in the glacier and meets oxygen, the iron in it rusts instantly, painting the snow a deep crimson. What you're seeing isn't blood, it's rusting salt water from a world sealed away before humans even existed. Yet it looks disturbingly alive, as if the continent itself were wounded. It's a natural bleed, dripping from the oldest ice on Earth, a quiet reminder that even the frozen parts of our planet have veins. Number six, Lake Natron, the lake that turns creatures to stone. Northern Tanzania looks peaceful from above pink water, flat plains, flocks of flamingos, but it hides one of Earth's strangest and most dangerous lakes. Lake Natron is a body of water so alkaline that it can strip flesh and turn animals into statues. The lake's high pH, between 9 and 10.5, comes from sodium carbonate and volcanic minerals washing down from the nearby Old Doño Lengai volcano. When birds and bats accidentally fall into the water, the chemical reaction dehydrates and calcifies their bodies, preserving them like eerie sculptures. Their outlines stay sharp, their eyes glazed, their wings frozen mid-motion. Photographer Nick Brandt once captured these petrified animals, and the images went viral, not as morbid art, but as evidence of how hostile beauty can be. Yet amid the chemical death trap, flamingos thrive. They lay their eggs on the lake's hardened salt flats, safe from predators that can't survive the toxic shallows. So the same lake that mummifies outsiders becomes a sanctuary for those who adapt. A deadly paradox sculpted by chemistry and time, nature's own version of selective mercy. Number five, the door to hell, Turkmenistan's eternal fire pit. In the middle of the Karakum Desert, Turkmenistan, there's a hole that never stops burning. It's not a myth, not a movie prop, just a crater, roughly 70 meters wide, glowing orange against endless sand. Locals call it the door to hell. In 1971, Soviet scientists were drilling for natural gas when their rig collapsed into a hidden underground cavern. Methane began leaking out enough to poison the air, so they set it on fire, assuming it would burn for a few days. That was over 50 years ago. The flames are still alive, fed by an underground gas pocket that hasn't run out. At night, the crater looks otherworldly, a massive wound in the desert, roaring with endless fire. The air above it shimmers with heat, and from the rim, you can feel the ground humming beneath your feet. There's no fence, no guardrail, just a chasm that sounds like the planet breathing fire. It's not hell, but it's close enough to make you wonder how many mistakes it takes to create something eternal. Number four, the Catatumbo lightning, the storm that never sleeps. Over Venezuela's Lake Maracaibo, the night sky doesn't rest. Almost every night for over 200 days a year, storms erupt in the same place, flashing lightning thousands of times per hour. It's called the Catatumbo Lightning, the most consistent and powerful storm system on Earth. The phenomenon is caused by a perfect storm of geography. Warm, moist winds from the Caribbean meet cool air descending from the Andes Mountains, all trapped in a basin that recycles its own weather. The result, an atmospheric loop of endless thunder. Sailors have seen the glow from hundreds of kilometers away for centuries, calling it the Lighthouse of Maracaibo. Unlike most storms, which pass and fade, this one has been repeating for thousands of years. The bolts can reach three miles high, and sometimes they strike so fast that the entire sky flashes continuously as if a strobe light were set to apocalypse. Scientists say the lightning helps replenish the ozone layer, turning destruction into balance but standing beneath it, you'd never think of ozone, only the feeling that the sky has come alive and that it's staring right back. Number three, the sailing stones of Death Valley. In California's Death Valley, one of the hottest and driest places on earth, stones move on their own. Huge rocks, some weighing hundreds of pounds, crawl silently across the desert floor, leaving long trails behind them. There are no animals, no engines, no tricks, just tracks stretching over the sand like messages written by ghosts. For decades, people speculated wildly. Maybe wind, maybe magnetism, maybe aliens. But the truth, when scientists finally discovered it, was both mundane and incredible. 
On rare winter nights, a thin layer of water floods the valley floor. When temperatures drop, it freezes, trapping the rocks in sheets of ice. As the morning sun melts the ice just enough, light winds push the slabs, dragging the rocks across the slick mud. The ice eventually melts completely, but the tracks remain. What looks supernatural is really a symphony of precise conditions, temperature, timing, and patience. No human sees them move, yet they do. The stone's slow, methodical crawl is the Earth's way of reminding us that motion doesn't always need violence. Sometimes, it just takes stillness and time. Number two, the bioluminescent bays, oceans that glow. In some parts of the world, the ocean glows. At night, waves light up electric blue as if the sea swallowed the stars. When your hand touches the water, light ripples out in shimmering trails. It's not magic, it's millions of microscopic organisms called dinoflagellates performing their silent defense. When disturbed, they emit flashes of bioluminescence, a chemical reaction that makes them glow for less than a second. The light isn't for humans, it's a warning signal meant to scare off predators. Yet, from a distance, it turns the ocean into a living galaxy. The most famous of these glowing bays is in Vieques, Puerto Rico, Mosquito Bay, where the concentration of bioluminescent plankton is so high that even a single paddle stroke looks like lightning underwater. But these bays are fragile. Pollution, sunscreen, and boat fuel can kill the microbes instantly. In some areas, the glow has already faded a reminder that beauty, this rare, doesn't survive carelessness. For now, the bioluminescent seas remain one of the few natural wonders that can make even scientists believe in magic, even if it's just chemistry doing its best impression of a dream. Number one, the Rainbow Mountains, China's painted desert. In Gansu province, China, the landscape looks fake, like a child's drawing stretched across mountains. Stripes of red, yellow, green, and purple ripple across the hills of the Zhangye Dongxia Landform Geological Park, forming one of the most breathtaking sights on Earth. But these colors aren't paint, they're layers of sandstone and mineral deposits stacked over 20 million years. Each stripe was once sediment laid down in ancient riverbeds. Iron oxide made the red, chlorite formed the green, and other trace minerals filled in the rest of the palette. Then tectonic movements lifted the land, erosion carved the ridges, and the result was an explosion of color too perfect to seem real. When the sun sets, the mountains shift tone, gold turns to crimson, blue fades into violet, and for a few minutes, the land looks alive, as if breathing light. To see it is to realize that time can paint. Every ridge is a brushstroke, every shadow a whisper from a past older than language. The ground beneath us isn't still, it's art in motion, created one grain of sand at a time. We call them strange because they don't fit the rules we understand. A glacier that bleeds, a lake that kills, a storm that never stops. But to the Earth, none of these are unusual. They're just the planet doing what it's always done, creating, decaying, shifting, and occasionally showing off. The bizarre isn't the exception, it's the rule we keep forgetting. And every once in a while, when we stumble across these places, we get to remember that our world isn't just alive, it's still wildly unpredictable.